Hey YouTube, this is RJ, aka1969 Day Tripper, and I'm gonna do my very first drum lesson that I've. This is actually my second drum lesson that I've uploaded, but my first drum lesson I've recorded in. God, how long has it been? Like eight to. It's like it's been a long time. So a little over five months since I recorded. If you want to see my first drum lesson, it's I put the link somewhere up here. It's a that was yesterday by Foreigner. A full classic. I just explained the basics of it. And it's not a very good drum lesson song, but it was a good start, good I'd counting practice idea for me. But now I'm getting a little more depth because past few months I've been learning reading read music. So I'm going to explain how to play some of the fills. That intro was just me messing around, but. uh the focus in this one this lesson is gonna focus on quarters, triplets, rudiments, and eighth notes. And I'm gonna teach you, teach you, teach you, in, in my way of teaching, how to group them into one fill. Again. Like I said in the first video, I'm never going to play any cells high as constant. So let's just start something simple. Now, now this is just basic exercise where I actually get into lesson. Into the how to play a fill. I'm going to play a basic fill of what basically I'm trying to teach it. What I'm doing on the hi hat pedal and the bass drum is, is straight quarters. And above that, I'm going to be doing maybe some quarters, some triplets, maybe rudiments. That's going to be interesting lesson for rudiments. Right. And eighths. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. This is just a basic overview of, the, of what I'm going to teach. So that's just a basic overview of everything. Okay, first off, first exercise I'm going to teach you is this features chord. This rest, this is in four four time. All the exercises are going to be in four four. Nothing else. And what this is going to involve is some is quarter notes. This is quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, rudiments, and triplets. So, how we're going to count this before we get into the, the dynamics and uh, and no, and uh, fills and all that of it is one e and one. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a. Uh. Now for the basic, the hi hat is a constant. It's going to be on straight quarters on all the numbers. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? Okay. And the bass drum is going to play on two and f is going to play on two and four. So I'll challenge you because my because my regular rack playing is that's usually the snare beat. But this isn't a rhythm. This is an exercise. Okay, so it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. And it's going to sound like that. And above it, you. You're gonna have triplets, triplets, quarters, one, two, three, four, A's, one, one, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four, and then, then the sixteenths, 
No, excuse me. Well, trick of 16, so I've learned. I learned that it's kind of like triplets. You don't count it as triplets, but it's basically triplets. So, the ba this, I'm going to play a basic overview of what I am going to teach. Basically, the first exercise, so you can, it's a very improvisational one. You can put whatever you want over. The second exercise features, features, this is a rhythm, rhythm, rhythm exercise. Now, you'll see this rhythm being used in a lot of my upcoming covers and covers. This is a syncopated syncopated ride symbol pattern. This is I've really started I've really started been starting to experiment with traditional grip and now you play this in a traditional grip. The most commonly I use this song I use this for the keyboard and guitar solo in Crystal Ball by Sticks which is since nineteen seventy six. It features straight six seams on the ride one and a two and a three and a four and a and the snare, for the snare beat, and for the, I'll do snare beats, I'll just snare for the bass, but for the snare beats, you're doing, you're doing a mix of six, of 16th and 8th notes goat stones, and it's in 6-8 time, it's in 6-8, so, Now, where the bass drum falls into there is on the and uh of beats two, four, and five. So it's like this. Now that rhythm, you can play around with it. You can make the ghost notes down out a little bit like this. Or you can make them very even noticeable. Sorry, it's hard to do with electronic drums. It's the reason I do my my uh, drum lessons on electronic set is I don't have to have where speaking to a microphone. Or where I would have to do that on the acoustic set. I'd rather do one of those, but I don't have to bother. And where the hi-hat falls into there is straight quarters. And that's the rhythm I commonly use on a lot of maybe some Rush songs, maybe or some Mario, just a bunch of different songs. And I use it in my warm-up. Two. Now the third exercise I'm do, teaching four exercises. This is the third. The first, the first exercise. Remember, the first exercise was and you put whatever you want over that. Remember that one's in four four. Second is in six eight. With with straight straight sixteenths on the ride. Straight sixteen, so you can play around with it, maybe do some eighths. That's all I was doing there. Sixteen straights would sound good with it. And you're doing a mix of sixteen and eighths ghost notes on snare. And accenting on beats two, 
two, four, and six. Another thing you play around with that is you can mix it up. Maybe use some eighths. Like Maybe do an eighth for an and a of beats one and two, and beats one and two. Then switch to eighths. No, you then switch to sixteenths for beats four or five and the and does of that. Okay. Here's a fun one. Third exercise I'm going to teach you is syncopated hi-hat rhythm. Now this is a new one, I might be a little shaky, but I just discovered it. I mean, that was recently Time Stands Still by, by Rush. Neil Peer on drums, greatest drummer of all time. But that's besides the point. It's during the bridge section of it, and before Neil goes to a sing to ride pattern, I discovered a pattern that works for it. It's based off of no, not paradiddles. Uh, triplets. Triplets. It's in 4 4 time. It's based off of triplets. And. Well, this is it. Time stands. To That's basically a drift. And the fills. Eh. That's something you might want to watch Neil Peer give lessons on. I can't give us none on the fills. Because they're different every time I play it. So I have no promises on fills. But the rhythm is based off, basically, and I slow it down, it's this. One, two. Triplets. So it's right, left, right. Right, left, right. Sorry. And of course you can play around with that. Open the hi-hat on on one, on maybe three and four, whatever you want to do. You can find with this. And the fourth and final exercise I'm going to teach you is something that I've been playing around with for a long for a while now. It's a very interesting figure. When I was just playing Caravan by Rush, Neil Peer, obviously, from the new Rush record opening track. So by the way, that was an amazing show. Palace. Good job, Rush. Besides the point. When I was watching Neil Peer do Caravan, I noticed he's doing a weird sticking. I watched an entire Caravan discussion of it on Neil Peer's DVD, Taken Center Sage. The sticking would go interesting with time sticking. Now, as compared to my set, it was a lot smaller than Neil's. He has a lot of, like, countless new pieces. Mine's only a seven piece, and, my, and this is only a five piece. So I don't have seven five piece sets. I don't have as many pieces as him. But what I discovered about that was I could involve maybe some rudiments in there. So what I discovered was I think there's rudiments for me, I like to do weird stickings. Like, like right, left, left, right, 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 left, right, 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 left, left. I like to do weird stickings. I don't know why. That's how I learn my rudiments. And and I'm trying to reteach myself in, in match script. I'm really trying to reteach myself in that in match. So it's you know so the exercise that I thought of based off of that tribal tom section and first and uh, because it's in smile sections in uh, caravan. It's just writing brought to toms like this. I'm going to a snare. It's a fun exercise and and you're playing again straight quarters and the hi hat. Bass. Break it down, that's really simple. All this is basically again, a very improvisational, so it varies with the what stick and I use almost same sticking every time. 
But I, I vary a variation where what tabs I use. Sometimes I'll disable this, sometimes I'll use all of them. It varies. Thank you for watching. These exercises have come in handy for me. Hope they come in handy for you. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, and check out Abuel's tribute band uh, yesterday is today. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for watching. And have a nice week.